everybody. Welcome back to The Loop. All week this week, we're talking about the importance of gentleness. Here at The Loop, we want to know Jesus better so that we can live like him even more. In Matthew chapter 11, verse 29, Jesus said, I am gentle and humble in heart. If that's who Jesus is, that's who we want to be. One of Jesus' best friends and closest followers was a guy named Peter. Peter spent three years of his life walking on the earth with Jesus, watching the way that Jesus interacted with people, the way he spoke with people, and the way he treated people. Peter then went on to be a leader in the church, and he taught people how to live like Jesus. In 1 Peter chapter 3, verse 15, he wrote this, But in your hearts, revere Christ as Lord. Now, stop right there. You, you know what he's saying? He's saying you need to let Jesus call the shots in your life. You need to live your life the way that Jesus lived his life. Then he said this, Always be prepared to give an answer to everyone who asks you to give the reason for the hope that you have, but do this with gentleness and respect. Now, he doesn't just say that we need to treat people with gentleness and respect. He says that you have to be prepared for those conversations. At some point in your life, you have probably prepared yourself for a very difficult conversation. You may have thought about what you wanted to say. You may have even practiced how you were going to say it. You may have stood in front of a mirror working on your speech. As we prepare for these kinds of conversations, we usually envision ourselves winning the argument, putting people in their place, and helping them realize just how smart we really are. We've probably all done something like that at some point in our lives. Peter says you should prepare for conversations, but he says that you should prepare to speak to people with gentleness and respect. It may not be as fun, but I promise you this. Speaking to people that way is far more effective, and that's what we want. We want to be effective at helping people understand why we have hope in this world. We want more people to know Jesus so that they can have hope in this world too. But in order to draw people to Jesus, we have to speak to them with gentleness and respect. It's the difference between building bridges and burning bridges with other people who need to know Jesus.